steps for making a birch bark basket. The materials needed to make a birch bark basket include birch bark, cardboard cutout, spruce root to stitch with, all to make holes, wooden pegs to hold sheep, peeled willow tree for the rim, clothespins to hold rim, scissors to cut birch bark. To make a birch bark basket, you will need a cardboard template of the basket outline. The basket could be any size as you can see from the picture. The cardboard template is needed to avoid any mistakes you may make if you decided to cut out the actual birch bark right away. After you've traced and cut out the birch bark, keep in mind the naming of the flaps. Flap B, A and C are identified respectively, so let us begin. Flap A is folded first. Flaps B and C overlap flap A. Hold flaps A, B and C in place with your hand. Puncture a hole through all three flaps with an awl. Do the same to the other side. At this time, insert wooden pegs in the holes to retain the shape of the basket. While the basket is in place, make a hole in flap A and a hole in flap C. Insert root into flap A from the inside. Pull the root through, leaving a 2 cm axis. Insert root into flap C and pull tightly. Tie a knot using the 2 cm axis. When making holes with the awl, Always make sure to stay within flap A so that the basket will hold its shape. Make the third hole with all about one centimeter away from hole two, making sure the hole goes through flap C and flap A. Insert root into the third hole from the inside and pull until taut. Insert all into hole two again to make it a bit bigger for the root to be reinserted. Insert root into hole 2 and pull firmly. Make the fourth hole about 1 cm away from hole 3 and continue the same process as above until you reach the top of flap A. When you reach the top of flap A, Tuck the remaining root through the firm stitching and trim. Once one side has been stitched together, you may trim flap C. Continue the same stitching process with flap B. When stitching flap B, make sure to stitch within flap A so that the basket will hold its shape. When all sides have been stitched, the rim can be measured to fit over the top of the basket. You may have to adjust the circumference of the rim. The willow is tied with string to hold its circular shape. Untie this string to adjust. The rim should fit snugly over the top of the basket, shown here. The top of the basket is trimmed just above the willow rim. The willow rim is held in place with clothespins. The first hole is made beneath the willow rim. A long piece of root is selected and inserted into the hole from the outside going in. The root is pulled, leaving a 2 cm axis. Pinch the axis to the right beneath the willow rim. Hold in place with thumb. Loop the root, the longer end, back to the front and insert into hole 1 underneath the axis. Pull until it is firm. 
Hold the axis in place with thumb. Puncture the second hole beneath the remaining root and rim. Loop the root to the front and insert in hole 2. Pull tightly and make sure the axis is in the loop so that it will not come undone. Continue looping the root around the rim. If you run out of root, select another piece and insert from the front into the last hole made. Pinch the axis pieces with fingers to the right. Loop and insert the long end back into the same hole and pull tightly. Continue looping the root and making sure to wrap the loops around the axis pieces so they are tucked in. Once you have looped the root all the way around, tuck the remainder into the loop you made when you started. Tuck the remainder a second time into another loop so that it does not come undone. Trim off the axis. The final step is to secure the sides so that the flaps do not bend back. Make a hole with the awl through all three flaps near the center. Insert the root through the first hole. Make a second hole about one centimeter from the first hole. Insert the root through the second hole. Pull until snug. Tie a knot with the axis and trim. Do the same to the other side and you are done. There you have the final product. Depending on the size, you can use it for picking berries or to store treats and other items. Que guasqui, we pasta.